At first, I'd like to hear the words of our founder, Shinran Shionin, from Notes on One's Boy and many poems. So please join me in Gashiro. Please put your palms together. Setsu wa osameta mo, shu wa mukae toru to mo osunari. Osame tori tamo o toki, sunawachi, toki, hiyo mo hedatezu. Chojouju no kurai ni tsuki sadamaru o, ojo o utto wa notamae unari. To grasp, seshu means to take in, setsu, and to receive and hold, shu. When we are grasped by Amira immediately, without a moment or a day elapsing, we ascend to and become established in the stage of the truly self. This is the meaning of attaining birth. Namo Amidabas. Namo Amidabas. Namo Amidabas. Namo Amidabas. Namo Amidabas. Namo Amidabas. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to today's Shotsuki Monthly Memorial Service for the month of March. And you know, when I hear the baby's cry, I feel like it's Hikaru, but you know, Hikaru is not there, so it's not Hikaru. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, everything is okay down there. <laughs> so, uh, it was a beautiful day yesterday, and you know, I wish the weather kept uh, like yesterday, right? Yeah. But it is going to get chilly again next week, so I hope uh, this kind of roller coaster kind of weather don't make you uh, catch a cold. And today we chanted Amida Kyo, right? Um, was it first? Yes. You think? Yes. Was it really? Yes. You know, I usually chant uh, two times faster than that, right? So I can finish the Amida Kyo within 10 minutes. That's my kind of uh, goal. <laughs> I don't know why I said this goal, but uh, you know. Um, I mean, we have not many chances to chant whole entire Amida Kyo, so I think it's you know nice to chant whole Amida Kyo and you know, listen to it. So I try to chant as fast as I can, so I can chant whole Amida Kyo and you can listen to it. If you can follow, that's fine. You know that's great too, right? But anyway, so today's words I shared at the beginning is the words of our founder Shinran Shonin from Notes on One's Poem and many calling. And Shinran Shonin copied many times Ryukan's clarification on what's calling and many calling and Seikaku's essentials of faith alone. And Ryukan and Seikaku are both elder disciples of Honen Shonin's Sangha for Shinran Shonin. And they gave a huge impact on Shinran Shonin's thought. And Ryukan and Seikaku were trusted by Honen Shonin too. So that Honen Shonin told the Sangha, when he is gone, these two will lead the Sangha. But even though Shinran Shonin made many copies of their writings and gave it to the followers, there were only few people who could read Chinese and you know understand it. So Shinran Shonin made notes on the Chinese passage quoted in the clarification on one's calling and many calling and the essentials of faith alone. So these are notes on one's calling and many calling, and notes on essentials of faith alone. <coughs> and today's word is from notes on one's calling and many calling, where Shinran Shonin explains the larger sutra's passage declaring the fulfillment of the primal power, quoted in the clarification of one's calling and many calling. And simply, Shinran Shonin is saying that when we entrust ourselves to the working of the primal vow, the working of the name Namo Amida Butsu, we immediately enter the stage of the truly self to attain birth in the pure. And entering the stage of the truly self is the benefit we receive in this present moment. And attaining of birth in the pure land is the matter of when we pass away. And in the virtual morning services, I have used the metaphor of riding on the train. You know, we don't need to know how the train works to get to the destination, right? The train won't tell us that I'm not going to take you anywhere until you answer how I operate, right? So just like this, it is inconceivable working of the name Namo Amida Butsu to take us to the attainment of birth attainment of enlightenment. 
So we just write on the working of the name, Namo Amida Butsu. And then, earlier, I said, attaining of birth in the Pyalan is the matter of when we pass away. But I could say that the Raja Sutra is the teaching of the Buddha, which teaches us that we are not going to die, but we are attaining birth. So this is the Sutra, which totally changes our way of thinking. When we hear that we are going to die, then we feel like we are moving towards the darkness. But when we hear that we are not going to die, but we are attaining birth, we, or at least I, feel like I am moving towards the light. So Shinran Shomi revealed and told us that the pure land is the actual, the land of immeasurable light. It is not that we are not going to fall into the darkness, but we will be enveloped in the light. So the other day, actually last Friday, I had a memorial service in Eugene, and I was preparing for the Dharma message. And then I have encountered this poem written by Ayako Suzuki, who was the followers of Joro Shinshu, which is our de denomination. And I think this is the first time to share this poem, but you know, uh, let me share the poem with you, uh, first in Japanese. Henkan Suzuki Ayako.死に向かって進んでいるのではない。今をもらって生きているのだ。今ゼロであって当然の私が今生きている。引き算から足し算の変換。誰が教えてくれたのでしょう。新しい命、嬉しくて踊っています。命日々新たなる。うん、わかります。Transformation by Ayako Suzuki. We are not moving towards death. We are living, receiving this moment. I, who ought to be zero, am living this moment. The transformation from subtraction to addition. Who taught me this? The new life I am dancing in joy. Every day is beginning of the new life. Now I understand. So Ayako was informed that she has a breast cancer when she was 42. And the cancer spread to her lung. And she had to take half of her lung off. But unfortunately, she passed away at the age of 46. You know, this poem by Ayako teaches me that she was thinking this life with the idea of subtraction in the past. She was thinking that, I lost this, I lost that. But at some point, her way of thinking has turned to the idea of addition. And she realized that she is always receiving this moment of life. So life is never a subtraction but it is addition. When my mother passed away uh, 22 years ago, I was probably thinking the same way as Ayako in the past. I lost all the future to come to experience with my mother. But when I started to hear the teaching of the Raja Sutra that we are not going to die, but we are going to attain birth, I started to change my way of thinking from subtraction to addition. You know, that is true that we lost our loved ones, physical bodies, but this does not mean that they have disappeared from our lives. And actually, they are always guiding us and teaching us the truth of life taking various forms. And they are teaching us not to accept the life with the idea of subtraction, but think with the idea of addition. You know, this encounter with all of you is great addition to my life. 
even though I need to move back to Sacramento in June, it does not mean that I forget all of you and the time we spent together with you disappear from my life. We added so many memories in our hearts. Do you remember the first uh, public lecture series we had? We had over 170 people gathered for the first lecture. And you know, I think audience was like this close, right? <laughs> I had to give lecture this close. <laughs> then Japan tour, we went in 2017 and May 2023 to come, right? And these Sunday services, we experienced pandemic together, virtual morning services and virtual services. All these experiences and memories will remain in our hearts. And I am sure that all of you have the memories of your loved ones in your heart. And they are always guiding you and teaching you to live with Nembutsu. And this is the path not to think with the idea of subtraction, but think in addition. We are not going to die, but attaining birth. And I feel cheerful by hearing this teaching. And I hope this teaching gives peace and comfort for those who have lost your loved ones recently too. And I'd like to conclude my talk with a reading of a traditional epistle on white ashes written by Rengya Shongi in the 15th century. So please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. それ人間のしょうなる双方つらつら。
Namo Amida, Namo Amida, Namo Amida, Namo Amida, Namo Amida. 